the Boss. And recently, I was in Hollywood, and I had a chance to visit the set of Who's the Boss. And watching Tony and the rest of the cast rehearse was so much fun. When everyone took a break, Tony and I had a chance to chat. All right, fourth time I think I've had a chance to talk to you, and I've formed one opinion. You don't take yourself so seriously, do you? Uh, well, I guess at times I'm guilty of that, too, but for the most part, I try not to. I mean, if you take yourself too seriously, you know, you end up getting in fights in baseball games. You know, it's not, it's not <laughs> fun. So, I gave that up. Yeah, hard lesson. You really, did give no, it up. I gave that up. You take yourself too seriously. You, you, and jail is bad. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> you know how bad jail is? How bad is it? A guy comes by religious pamphlets. You read them. <laughs> 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 Brooklyn, right? Yeah. We'll give it a hand. Tough guy? Uh, you, you sort of had to be... First of all, I was real small when I was a kid. I was real tiny. In fact, in 10th grade in high school, I was 4 foot 11. I weighed 89 pounds. Wow. So you better be tough. You better do something. And so it was just that kind of neighborhood. Everybody, that's what I remember. The big thing was, does the kid have heart? Do you have heart? Do you have heart? That meant you weren't a punk. And so I wasn't a punk. You had heart. I had heart. But is I that why do. you went to prize fighting? To no, prove I went something? To, no. I, well, yeah, I guess I went to prize fighting to prove something. I, a guy entered me as a joke in the Golden Globes in New York. Just as a joke. You know, in, a, in New York, you get the uh, entry blank in the paper. So you fill out the entry blank and you send it in. So he sent it in with my name on it. So I got the notice to appear for my physical and I went down to the bar that we had where everybody was hanging out there. And, uh, you know, I says, look at this. And they all started laughing that they had done it. And the next thing I know, somebody said, well, come on, tough guy, you're a tough guy, why don't you try it? So I did. I went to semifinals my first year until I woke up in the shower. <laughs> it was I asked what, the guy, what, what happened? The whole water was hitting me. The next thing I knew, the water was hitting me, and I asked the Sarge, you know, the guy who was in my trainer, to say, Sarge, what happened? He says, well, we're going home early tonight. <laughs> so the ups what do you, and downs. What do you bring from what you learned on Taxi? Such a hit show. What do you bring to Who's the Boss from that experience? Do you bring a sense, another sense of timing to well, this Well, I think that Taxi was like... Uh, I mean, really, I mean, uh, I, you know, people say to me, is it something they keep naming you Tony in your shows? Well, I want you to know, in Taxi, they named me Tony because they were afraid I wouldn't answer. You know <laughs> what I mean? Um, hey, Tony, uh, you ever thought of adoption? I have parents. <laughs> I think, I just think he meant adopting Brian. Are you kidding? I'm not even married. No, you don't have to be married to adopt. I mean, single people do it all the time now. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You think they'd let me adopt him? Well, I don't know, Tony. Uh, have you spent much time around kids? Sure. I went to grade school with hundreds of them. <laughs> oh, that's 11 years' experience. You know? <laughs> I think you ought to think about it. You'd make a great father. Wow. Me a dad. I think the taxi was... Uh, the greatest. It was like having a full ride scholarship and getting paid mm -hmm. to a great school with great teachers. And so I tried to, uh, and thank God, for the first time in my life, I, I took advantage of a situation. I really tried to learn as much as I could, and, uh, and I did. And now I feel like I'm getting a chance to apply it on this show. You're giving some back, too. You and I talked about Judith, and she and I talked about her fear of going from drama to comedy and how you really supported her. Well, Judith's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful actress, and she's, she's going to be probably the, new, the next Lucille Ball. I really think she's that funny. I mean, we all know she can cry out of one eye at a time. I mean, it's, that's a given. That's she right. can act. But, uh, but uh, it's a little different out here and because uh, you know, sometimes the audience doesn't laugh. You, know, you start sweating over your lip real fast. But if, you, if they don't laugh, that doesn't mean you shrink. You've got to go ahead, and it's yeah. tough out there. The kids. Talk about Samantha, Aly Alyssa in real life. Talk about her. What is she like? Well, Alyssa's the, uh, I think she's a gifted, gifted individual child. I mean, most kids, I've been around a lot of child actors. My son did it too. Uh, most kids do it by rote. They hear it, they see you do it, then they repeat it or they imitate you. But Alyssa brings something else to the role. She brings something. She always finds laughs. She constantly surprises us. Spill it. Okay. Well, see, Chad stopped by, mm -hmm. and I told him that. I told him he couldn't come in. But, see, he said he could fix the sink and that it would only take a minute. Well, what's wrong with the sink? Uh, well, it's kind of hard to say. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> well, something got stuck in it. Something? What something? You could say it's like a... Carrot? A carrot? <laughs> Actually, it is a half a carrot. And what happened to the other half? Was Bugs Bunny here too? 
And another thing she does when you know she's real good, she steals from me. Does Left she? Left and right. Oh, anything I do. Melty. I, I like I Uncle Melty, huh? I said, to her, uh, hey, what can I say? I'm Italian. She goes, hey, what can I say? I'm Italian too. <laughs> no, I'll kill you, kid. Your son, Mark Anthony, just turned 15, and you're raising him as a single parent, Tony, in Los Angeles. I mean, how tough is that? How are you handling it? Well, I'm managing pretty good because I got a very, very good kid. I'm very lucky. Uh, I don't know. I've been very fortunate in my life. But uh, my son is uh, is interesting. He's, uh, he's 15. I got him in a tough school, uh, you know, a school that uh, is run by Jesuits and that is really trying to build character in these kids. And uh, and he's been um, he's been responding which is like the greatest thing. The great thing is, is that he kisses me hello and kisses me on the lips and Aww. he's happy to be here. And that's, uh, I mean, that's how I'm handling it. It's, it's tough, I mean. Do you have enough time with him? Excuse me, yeah, we were just talking about the Colby's and working 12, 15 hours a day. Get out of here. I go home five, I'm home, you know. I, I don't work that much here. We, we, are, uh, we rehearse four days a week and we have a lot of, it's a lot of pressure because we gotta do two performances at the end of the week. You know, each individual performance then becomes the thing that your career hinges on. You right. know, you did good last Tuesday. Oh, that show was great Tuesday. But Friday, we got to do two more. Right. So that's, the, you know, so it's a lot of, it's worked that way. But as far as hours go, I don't spend as many hours here. I'm home with my son. How about your daughter, um, Gina? You, she's two years old, right? Between three and June. Yeah, I mean, she lives in New Mexico, and, and, and it must be tough to get time with her. Do you miss her well, growing up? Well, my son up? said to me the other day, he says, you know, you haven't seen her in a while. And I said, well, I don't worry about it. I didn't treat you so good when you were a kid either. <laughs> so, but, uh, no, not true. I'm going there Friday. I'm going there Friday. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I get, you know, I do what I have to do. Life's pretty good? Life's great. Anybody in, anybody in the, anything you want to tell us? Talking girls, Talking man. girls, man, Talking huh? Girls? Uh, you know, there are a couple of girls in my life right now. There really are. Uh, it's interesting. Is you know, it's funny. Is it... I went on The Tonight Show and told John Rivers I couldn't get a date. I heard that. And all of a sudden, I got, like, all these girls <laughs> called me up as well. I got to go on there again. Um, I got to tell Mark Harmon, though. He was on The Night After. You can't do the same thing. <laughs> you uh, stole your stuff, too, huh? You can't do that. You, know, you can't get a date either. Come on. So, Would you uh, do that again? Would you make a commitment? Oh, absolutely. But I, gotta, I, I was telling her I got very picky. Not only do I have kids, so I'm not frantically searching for this woman. I mean, outside of being a little lonely, you know, uh, but uh, but I just become very picky. I mean, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine in New York last night, Bobby Guffinelli. He said to me, oh, I met this girl. It was wonderful, Tony. He says, but I think there's something wrong. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, he said, at first, everything was right. Everything she said was right. It was great. I was head over heels. Oh, God. And then she said, like, two things wrong. And I ran away, he said. Yeah. I said, well, and that's really what happens to you is that, you know, you especially, like, not that I feel bad for myself or anything, but, you know, I haven't had uh, great luck. I mean, when I did fall in love, it didn't work out. So now you get a really little, uh, you start saying, you're a little wary, you know, before you give I your I think you sound away. pretty normal. I think so. I'm trying to be normal. I think I've changed a little bit. My son's changed me a bit. You know what I mean? Really? I used to, uh, my whole life's changed. I remember I used to come home 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, start making them phone calls. Now I just go to bed. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Tony. Good luck. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks.